Hey, you guys. Thanks for being here and watching this video today. Um, Samantha and I wanted to connect with you all because it's Earth Day. So we thought it was the, woo, Mother Earth. <laughs> um, so we thought this was like the perfect day to talk about our eco retreat, yoga retreat that we've got coming up in September. And so we've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of interest in this retreat. And we wanted to just create a video so that everybody's questions could get answered in one place at one time, or we could just address all of your questions and you have this as a way to, as a place to refer back to. So um, Samantha, hi, do you wanna introduce yourself? Um, and I'll, I'll introduce myself after that, but you can introduce yourself first, tell a little bit about um, what you do and also maybe share for people who don't know you like a little bit about like your yoga journey and being a teacher and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Samantha Lawrence. I am an ERYT 500 yoga teacher, as well as a certified life and business coach. Um, so in terms of yoga, I've been teaching for about 10 years now at a variety of different studios, all different formats, vinyasa, yin, restorative, meditation, and currently in an Ayurvedic year-long wellness coach uh, program as well to incorporate more Ayurveda um, into my offerings as a coach. And so as a coach, I also work with a lot of um, women and entrepreneurs who are really looking to enhance their business, really step into their power and just really envision the life that they want to live in the bright life, which is my business. So um, that's, that's me <laughs> in a very short nutshell. And I'm just so excited for this retreat because I really think it hones in on everything that I'm really passionate about in terms of my lifestyle and what um, has really worked for me just in terms of coming back to myself and, and just my own inner power. And I'm just so excited to be working with you, of course, Jamie. So um, yeah, so stoked to be here. Yeah. And for those of you that don't know me, because I know that we're going to be sending this out to both of our like email lists and stuff like that. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Jamie Blackburn. I've been teaching yoga since 2007. I am also a 500 hour trained teacher, which basically just means that it's kind of like the master's degree of yoga. So your first yoga teacher training is 200 hours and then you do an additional 300. So both Samantha and I have been teaching for a very long time. Like, what is that? Like 25 years of experience between the two of us. Um, and we used to teach together. That's how we met and connected and um, just have similar but different focuses that we do and stuff like that. So I, um, I work with women who struggle with anxiety or who have experienced trauma and help them learn different somatic body-based practices to move emotions through their body. I have um, work with yoga for trauma. I also used to be a mental health professional. So um, a lot of background in that. And I'm also now doing some work in um, nature-based ecotherapy type practices. So really excited to integrate that with the clients that I work with in my business, which is called the Inner Map Project. So, okay, so we talked a little bit, the first question that we've been getting is just people are wanting to know like how much experience we have, if we've ever led retreats before and things like that. Um, and but the other question that a lot of people are asking us is the style and the type, what level and styles of yoga are going to happen on the retreat. So Samantha, do you want to share a little bit about that? Absolutely. So we will be doing a variety of yoga practices, primarily vinyasa and yin, but they will be all levels. So Jamie and I, again, with our experience, we'll make sure to really provide variations and options, especially if you're working with injury or specifications, and we can always work with you kind of one-on-one -on -one just based on your needs as well. But all levels, super fun, we'll flow, we'll get grounded, we'll restore, we'll meditate. So we'll do all the things <laughs> um, to really incorporate that yoga into the retreat. So I'm really excited about that. Awesome. Um, the other question that we've been getting is just about the theme. So our theme is retreat to the goddess within. And both you and I just love connecting with the feminine energy. It's also a full moon that weekend and right around the equinox. So the equinox and the full moon are on Monday, the 20th, and the retreat goes until September 19th. So it's the 16th through 19th. Um, so do you want to talk a little bit more, expand on the theme, why we chose that theme? Yeah. Well, first of all, what powerful energy. There's a full moon and an equinox. The moon nerd in me was so excited that we got this weekend because we just get to use it. But if you're unfamiliar with that language of feminine energy or masculine energy, you know, the, the divine feminine or the feminine energy is a quality, not necessarily a gender. 
that lives within all of us. And so this retreat is an opportunity not only to retreat elsewhere and kind of escape, especially after the year that we've had, um, but to go inward and really reflect and to heal and to access that feminine energy, which is qualities of intuition and connection, community, softness, art, creativity, nature, right? And so, you know, everything that we have planned from movement, self-care practices to just hiking, dancing in the woods, you know, all of it has to really invoke that, that goddess quality that lives within all of us. And that you know, honestly, I think has been a little bit suppressed in the last year. So, you know, that theme really comes from using that moon energy, that lunar feminine energy, not only in an environmental capacity, but also in our inner landscape as well. Yep. Anything to add to that, Jamie? Yeah, no, I think that's, per I think it's great. That's why I'm asking you all the questions. <laughs> 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 so, um, so people are also wondering, you know, what's included in the pricing? What does the daily schedule look like? So we'll tap into this a little bit. So I'll, I'll just share a little bit with the pricing. Okay. There's three different level, levels of pricing and it's based on what room you get, which we can talk in a moment about the accommodations, but we have quad rooms. So there's four people in a room and there's two bunk beds in each room. We also have a double room, which is two single beds. And then there are single occupancy where you would have a room to yourself. So there's three different levels of pricing based on what kind of room you choose. But all of the all of those, no matter which room you have, it includes the food for the weekend. It includes all the yoga practices. It basically includes everything for your weekend except getting to the retreat center. And if you need help getting to the retreat center, we can either like maybe figure out carpooling if you're comfortable with that. If you're flying in from out of state, we can help you arrange transportation to and from the airport. It's about an hour away from the Denver airport where we're going and the retreat center has ways to help us um, get you there. And then for the daily schedule, Samantha, do you want to share a little bit about the daily schedule? What that, what that's yeah, like, like and a little more? I, I would love to keep it a little bit more vague only because we have so many beautiful surprises also in store, yeah, but to give totally. you a really general idea, you know, every morning we will have some sort of, um, you know, tea or coffee kind of integration into your morning journaling and reflection to enter into a yoga practice in that morning. Um, from there throughout the day, we'll have kind of a sprinkle of events, um, yoga, some coaching or art or creativity workshops that we have planned. We will have free time where you can go explore the 135 acre. It's also an art park, very similar to a vibe, I guess, of Burning Man, if you were to give it kind of a, <laughs> you know, you could, where you can really yeah. interact and be with the art. It's so beautiful and so cool. Jamie and I visited a few weeks ago and just were blown away by the so retreat cool. center. So you have free time to really explore. They also have a sauna, cold plunge, just mm -hmm. a, you know, beautiful opportunity to get out in nature. And in addition to that free time, we also have optional additional services if you want to add that on to a pricing, which, you know, body work services, things like that, which we will work with the retreat center to offer if that's something of interest to you. Mm -hmm. So in addition to that yoga and the workshops and the free time, we'll always have kind of an evening ceremony, yin yoga, some, mm -hmm. some sort of ritual planned for you as well, where we can really come together in connection and community. Um, so it really will be that blend of kind of being able to have more alone time and self-reflection, self-care mixed in with the healing opportunities of group work and connection and nature. So really blending all of it in. Yeah, I love that. Um, one thing we did mention about the accommodations, one thing I just wanted to let people know, because we did get this question, the bathrooms there are communal bathrooms. So there's two different bathrooms. Um, both of the bathrooms are, I mean, it, we are only having, this retreat is women only, or those anyone who identifies as female or non-binary. Um, and in those bathrooms, there are, it's think about like a gym bathroom, right? They have like some showers, they have like the private stalls to use the restroom, but um, it is not private, like you won't have your own private bath. So that's something that we just wanted to um, bring to your awareness. Um, we mentioned that it's pretty easy to get to the retreat location. Um, from my house in Golden, Colorado, it was like 50 minutes, that's five zero minutes, not one five. Um, so right at an hour from like the Denver metro area, hour and a half if you're coming from up north because Sedalia is on like the southern part of the Denver suburbs and then you're up at this windy road up in the mountains to get to the retreat center. Um, the retreat is going to be like we mentioned September 16th through 19th. So it is the fall. It should be really beautiful up there at that time. And um, yeah, so three nights and food. 
let's talk about food a little bit. We are still working on getting the menu finalized, but um, we'll talk, like maybe just share a little bit about what we know about food and um, dietary restrictions, anything like yeah. that. So uh, we will have our own personal chef who is recommended by the retreat center. And I think that will also support a lot of the COVID uh, concerns just in terms of safety. And, you know, we will absolutely take all dietary uh, restrictions, limitations into consideration when we are planning this menu and have options as well. So, you know, breakfast might be on the little lighter side. We'll have snacks of the day um, and we'll make sure that we accommodate any requests as well so um, all meals are included like jimmy said so we'll have three meals a day uh that will be included in your your retreat tuition if you will yes, yes. um we can have and then a couple other questions as i'm going through you mentioned safety so we let's go ahead and jump down to that because i know a lot of people out there are concerned about covid um, one of the things, so we are following um, to keep everybody safe. We are requiring that people have either have an up-to-date COVID vaccination, or if you're not getting vaccinated for whatever reason, um, then we just are requiring that you have a negative COVID test and that you self-quarantine for a week prior to arriving at the retreat center and that you have a negative COVID test. We just want to make sure everyone is safe. Um, we, and you know, and that that's definitely something that we I know I personally have no desire to um, get anyone to, to get myself sick or anyone else sick. Um, and so we're really, really taking this seriously and making sure that everyone is gonna be safe and not just safe from a COVID standpoint, but safe from like a, um, you know, like let's not twist an ankle standpoint and that sort of <laughs> stuff. So there are, like I mentioned, we're only about an hour away from Denver, but there's medical facilities within 30 minutes down in like Highlands Ranch area. So if there anybody were to sustain an injury, we can get you pretty quickly there um, just because we are gonna be out on the land and like hiking around and stuff. So we wanna make sure everyone's being really careful. Um, and, you know, other than, you know, we we want we did wanted to make sure that we were accommodating people who are not comfortable with getting vaccinated. So we wanted to make, but we also wanted to make sure that we had kind of a range of like, if you're not comfortable getting vaccinated, you can still absolutely participate on the retreat. We just ask that you live a pretty cautious lifestyle prior prior to showing up. Um, and because we are going to have, we can have up to 25 people at the retreat center. So including myself and Samantha, that can be 23 participants, and that's if all of the rooms are full and things like that. So um, it should be a really, even if we're like totally full with 25 people, it's still a very like nice and intimate setting where we can really get to know each other and and check in with one another. And we're just really excited to make this weekend a special experience for everybody involved. Did I forget anything? Is there anything else that we want to, that you want to share or talk about? Yeah. Kind of well, I, video? Yeah. I would love to just add to that one little piece is that we take it into consideration when we chose the retreat center. And so we'll also be following the policies and procedures uh, of Everland, right? So this is not just, you know, Jamie and mm -hmm. Samantha, but the also benefit to this is that we have the whole place to ourselves. Yeah. So we will not be sharing this retreat center with any other retreats or any other group. So we can really cater to, you know, the safety of our group. And they have very in-depth cleaning procedures mm -hmm. and also, you know, state-led, um, you know, guidelines and procedures as well that they'll be following. So just wanted to add that in as well. So we just want to have fun and not have to worry about it. And feel as quote unquote normal as possible after the years that we've had. So yeah. Yeah. Good. And I think a lot of people, I think we're getting to that point where a lot of people are getting more comfortable and, 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 you know, things like that. So um, if you all, if any of you all watching this, first of all, thank you for continuing to watch. Cause I know this is a, a <laughs> long, oh, Samantha and I were both like, we're very long winded. We got to make this quick, <laughs> but we know this is a long video. So we're just really excited. If you are interested, if you want to reach out to us, we will make sure that all of our contact info is there, that there are, um, the link to the to our we travel site that has all of the information that you book through so if you want to put your deposit down oh one thing i wanted to mention too about pricing is we have our deposit but then there's also a payment plan so if you're concerned about the price first of all we are having early bird pricing so you can save 50 dollars if you put your deposit down by the end of april um, so april 30th that will the early bird pricing ends um, however, if you are concerned about pricing, we can actually go in. We already have a payment plan set up where there's a deposit plus two other payments. 
If you're concerned about that, we can actually stretch that out even more and do individualized payment plans for people. So we don't want, we know that this is an investment in your time and your self-care and your own wellness. And we don't want price to be the reason that people can't join us. So if that is a concern for you, please reach out to myself or Samantha. We are also, we haven't gotten this figured out yet, but we did also talk about that we wanted to offer some scholarships for this because we know that this has been a really, really hard year for a lot of people. And so we had talked about um, potentially offering like at least one scholarship so that people could get even more of a relief. So definitely reach out to us if you are concerned about the financial piece of this, because if you wanna be there and if you're willing to take a weekend out of your life to come and spend the weekend with us, we don't want price to be the reason that you don't come with us, okay? We want you there because we want people there who are excited to be there and ready to build this awesome community and like take care of themselves so they can go out and, and shine brighter and, and be you know a light in the world when they get back to their real life. So Absolutely. anything else? I, I just also want to say if you're hesitant to come by yourself or if you think you have to bring a friend, you know, this is going to be a really safe container for us to all heal together and get to know one another. And in a world where we've been physically distant for so long, what an opportunity for us to really set that tone moving forward as we get to know each other once again and really lean on the village that we have in front of us. And so um, please come by yourself, bring a friend if you'd like, but we will all be um, connecting together and really holding space for each other. And, and we are here as guides for, for that experience as well. So we just love to love to have you. And again, like Jamie said, if you have questions, if you just want to chat out your options, details, concerns, we're both here um, to have those conversations. Awesome. Well, thanks, Samantha. Thanks for your time. Thanks everyone listening to this Thank and you. watching this. And we hope to connect with you soon. Have a great one. Bye.